Most engineers never break into top 1%. Not because they're not smart, but because no one teaches them how. After 20 years in tech from being an early engineer at WhatsApp and leading teams, I've seen what separates the top engineers from the rest. Today, I turned 40. And I'm sharing the 40 lessons I wish I knew earlier. And I'm saving the best one for last, so let's go. One, small teams can outperform giants all the time. Two, WhatsApp had only 55 employees when we got acquired by Facebook for $19 billion. Because impact is not about headcount, it's about focus. Three, what I learned from building a billion user product is that scalability beats gimmicks. Four, that means prioritization is key. Every engineer on the team should know building flashy features mean nothing if the core system does not work. That's how we built a product that scaled. Five, when building, you want to think in decades, not in quarters. Most companies chase short-term wins. But at WhatsApp, we built for scale. Six, at an individual level, the best engineers focus on high leverage work, not just busy work. Just because you can solve something, it doesn't mean you should. Seven, oftentimes your technical skills aren't your ceiling. Your mindset is. But here's what most engineers get wrong about mindset. Forget everything you think you know about being a good engineer. That perfect tech stack that you're learning can be outdated as quickly as a fashion fad. Nine, so what is more important? Learn how to learn. Instead of chasing every new framework, develop a system of quickly learning new concepts. 10, that CS degree, not as important as you think. What really matters are the fundamentals. Once you're in the industry, no one cares about what school you went to. 11, think like an owner, not an employee. One time I saved my team six months by just asking them, why are we building this? 12. Simplify, don't complicate. The best engineers I know can explain anything in simple terms. 13. Your career will start to accelerate when you learn to sell your ideas. The best solutions don't always win. The ideas that get buy-in do win. 14. You want to get in the habit of documenting your wins. Senior engineers keep what's called a brag document. This can help turn your promotion discussions from maybe to definitely. Because promotions aren't just about your work. They're about what people remember. If no one knows about the impact that you made, it's like it never happened. 15. AI won't replace engineers. But engineers who don't collaborate, adapt, and communicate will be the first to go. But more on this later. 16. But skills are only the entry ticket. Influence is what makes the difference. Now, influence is a mix of credibility and likability. You build credibility by consistently delivering results. For example, if you say you're going to deliver something by a certain date, you deliver it. And if for any reason you cannot deliver, then you accept your responsibilities by fixing it. 18, you build likability by helping others and communicating with clarity. 19, don't be a jerk. I've seen smart engineers get fired because no one would work with them. 20 is for the crazy ones. If you can't get along with people, you better be irreplaceable. Kind of like Steve Jobs. But let's be real, you're probably not Steve Jobs. 21. Pick your battles wisely. Ask yourself. Will this matter in a year? 22, being right doesn't really matter if no one else is listening to you. The best engineers I know spend as much time selling their ideas as coding. Even if you can sell your ideas though, you can still get stuck if you miss this one. 23, a great manager can help you skip levels, whereas a bad manager can keep you stuck for years. 24, work with your manager, not against them. The sooner you align, the faster you will grow. 25, you can't always choose your manager. If that's you, that's okay you can go find a mentor. How? 26. Network the right way. Networking doesn't mean exchanging random LinkedIn profiles with people. It means building real relationships with people who are where you want to be. 27. And if you're in a situation when you can't find a mentor organically, that's okay. You can invest in a coach. The right guidance will pay itself many times over. 28. Now, if you're still trying to break in, none of this really matters unless you pass the interview. Here's what I learned about hiring after interviewing thousands of engineers. Passing an interview does not mean you're a good engineer. 
It just means you're good at interviewing. 30. Your resume has seven to eight seconds to stand out. So make every word count. By the way, I have a book on this if you need some extra help. Check the description below for resources to help you improve interview skills as well. 31. Most candidates fail LeetCode because they focus on the answer instead of focusing on communicating their thought process. 32. Best interview hack. You want to think out loud. Let them see your problem-solving process. 33. Your network will open more doors than your resume ever will. 34. You can land the best job in the world, but what happens after? The industry is shifting fast and AI is rewriting rules. To stay ahead, you want to start mastering AI-assisted engineering now. The gap between AI-savvy engineers and the rest will continue to grow. 35. Don't be too comfortable. The moment you stop learning is the moment you start becoming obsolete. 36. The best time to start leveling up was yesterday. The second best time? was also yesterday, so start today. 37. Build your career like a product. Have a roadmap, get feedback, and iterate. 38. Think next 5, 10 years, not just your immediate future. 39. At the end of the day, no one is coming to save you. It's your growth, your career, your success. It's all on you. And 40. This is the most important one. The top 1% engineers don't wait for opportunities, they create them. So start acting like the engineer you want to become. Now that you have the 40 lessons, what will you do with them? Knowledge means nothing without action. Drop a comment done and let me know which lesson hit you the hardest. Now, if you want to learn more about how you can prepare your career in the age of AI, you wanna watch this video and I'll see you there.